All right, good morning, guys. So this morning, what I'm up to is all my guys went to go squirrel hunting this morning. So I expect them to be back probably with a pretty good harvest where they're going. So if y'all have any good squirrel recipes, definitely let me know. I'm kind of trying to figure out a good way what to do with squirrel. But one thing that I do too, I don't know if I mentioned on this channel, is I do some like small baking and cooking on the side. So I need to go get some items this morning for a couple of frozen meals that I've had requests for. So that's what I'm about to do. But before we go get that, we must first get coffee. All right, hey guys, so today is September 1st, which means in my world, it is now officially fall, and I actually have proof to back that up, so I'll show y'all in a minute. Although, I see it's fall, but it's still kind of hard to imagine it being fall when it's like 85 degrees out here, and then you can see, I don't know if y'all can see behind me or not, but on my peppermint spearmint, there's a whole lot of little pollinators still which, yeah, it's whatever, y'all. Well, but I have to show y'all proof that it is fall. All right, guys, there is my proof that it's fall. There is a leaf on the ground over there. There's a couple over here. And then you can see over by that tree over there, there's some fall it leaves. It's officially fall, which means I'm about to get up in the attic and get my fall decorations out. And I will be working on that this weekend because Alright, so let's talk just a little bit about how my egg preservation is going. Um, as you can see here, I've started getting, being able to get some eggs from a local farmer. So I'm getting their eggs that still have the bloom attached on them. So I'm doing the egg glassing. Uh, where I first heard about this was Homesteading Family and Carolyn. So I will link a, leave a link in that description, in my description box for that video. Some really useful information on there. So that's what this jar here is. And I forgot to count the eggs as I put them in here because I wanted to count and see how many I did. I was able to fit in this. This is a two quart jar. So yeah, I just put these up on a few days ago, like the end of August, I guess. Maybe about four or five days ago, I've put these up. So they're just setting on my pantry floor, um, egg glassing. So if you've ever egg glassed, I would love to hear your thoughts on it and if it worked well for you and your family. And I will say this, that I did notice that after a day or two, because this egg was on its side, so it did start, it did like correct itself to where the smaller end was pointed down, which is something that she had mentioned that that's how you would prefer to store them, would be with the smaller end down, which you can. As you can see, all my eggs, I think, are that way. I think some of it's kind of hard to tell without like actually lifting the egg up, but so it seems to be. So yeah, there's my egg glass in this box right here. I don't remember if a few months ago I played around with putting a fake bloom on store-bought eggs. And this whole box here, I have done the fake bloom on. And as you can see here that I've wrote, July 29th was when I did these eggs and they have two coats of the vegetable shortening. And Okay, so you can see here how they look. I mean, they look about like normal eggs. These have just been left in this box, which they do have air holes kind of on both sides. So I just had this box shut up like this, um, closed up and set on top of my kitchen cabinet. So it's just been kind of stored up there. I didn't tape the lid down or anything like that. And we're actually gonna also place these in water real quick because when I did this, all of the eggs have been, all of the eggs sunk because that's, I want to make sure I was using the freshest eggs. So we're going to grab one of these eggs randomly and we're going to do a water test on it. Okay, so, and one thing I will say that during that time after 
the 29th when these have been up here that was when our ac went out and it was for about a week or so it did not get below 70 about 76 in the house because of just where our ac unit was going out so keep that in mind that the house had been kind of on the hotter side and i didn't move the eggs i didn't do anything i just kind of let them let them do their thing up there so we're just going to grab a couple of them here and i mean I mean, as you can see, they're like they don't have any spots on them. They are kind of like sticky and slimy, like they have shortening on them because they do. So let's see if this actually sinks. I can't really. Sorry, I gotta get the camera better, y'all. So as you can see, all right, so that random, I'm just gonna pull out like three or four eggs randomly and we're just gonna test them and see. And let me know, like I said, I'm curious if everybody's, if anybody has ever done this before. Because again, these are just store-bought eggs that I bought from, um, I don't want it just to fall, okay. Um, that I bought from Walmart. And when I did these, I did the egg test because I wanted to use the freshest possible eggs. So they all sunk to the bottom just like this. So let's get one more just randomly to see. Because I am kind of curious because today is September 2nd and I put these up on, I'm always afraid I'm going to crack them, just letting them fall like that. Um, I did these on July 29th, today is September 2nd, so it's been a little over a month. So I'm just going to, so those three eggs, like they all sunk exactly like they did when I, um, whenever I preserved them or whenever I did the whole shortening bloom on them back in july so we'll just kind of keep playing with these i want to try to see at least probably at about three months i might crack one or two open um but at this point i'm just going to try to remember and pretty much right around a month like every month from the 29th i meant to do this a few days ago and clearly i didn't y'all so give or take you know a few days is what i'm planning on doing is just getting a pitcher of water just regular tap water and seeing if they still sink like they're supposed to and then probably at about three months if like I still do it and they still sink I'll probably crack one open because I don't want to waste them if they do it but I am kind of curious to see if I can make it to six months you know it's kind of my goal is to do six months at this point um, you know there's been a lot of studies and stuff how long the egg glassing like this um, will preserve eggs so there's already been a lot on that but this way, I really couldn't find much research on it other than how to do it as far as lengthwise goes. And do, again, there was really no research on it. So I'm just kind of playing around with it and, you know, doing my egg test. And then obviously, if anybody's ever smelled a rotten egg, you know, you know as soon as you're going to crack it open if it's good or bad. So... Yeah, that's kind of what I'm just going to go with is the water test, the smell test. Um, yeah, so just make sure and stick around with that. There is, what I will say is the other video that I had previously done on my channel where I cracked up in two eggs that I had stored in, an air, in a mason jar with a lid on it that within a month, and again, I think I probably cracked one of the small eggs when I dropped it, but it was still fresh like just enough to put like a little hairline fracture um, in it. So that may have been it. But those eggs within a month, they did kind of have like, like a mold almost it looked like on the shortening kind of. So about halfway through a month, so about two to three weeks in, I did take off the lid and just let the air in it. That's one reason I didn't seal these up all the way. That's why I chose this box that kind of still had airflow and just putting them up somewhere, like I said, above my kitchen cabinet. And so far, none of these have any, I mean, like y'all seen the eggs, they look like an egg. There's some that maybe look a little darker than the others, but not really. And one of those were the ones that I tested and it was still past the test, so. We're just going to keep setting them up there and we'll just kind of keep playing around with it as we go. Uh, the guys did not get any, they didn't have no luck squirrel hunting. But still, if y'all have any kind of squirrel recipes, let me know that, please. As I really want to be able to find 
good at recipes for that. Um, also, any good wild turkey recipes. I've used it in place of chicken before. And turkey to me is just a lot drier than chicken. So I'm thinking I might try to like make it up with some gravy, like a turkey gravy or something like that. So if you have any good wild turkey recipes too, that would be great. I'll leave them in the comment section below. No luck with the turkey hunting. I, like I said, I'm full on fall mode. I did not get up in the attic yesterday to get my fall stuff down, but I will this weekend because uh, work did start back up this week so that kind of takes some of my evenings up but don't worry my fall stuff will be getting up soon um school has been going well there's actually a class that we're going to start taking at the local library that has to do with sign language so i'm looking forward to that uh i really like the library as a local resource because my kids really go really enjoy doing like the Lego club or um, some of the summer reading options that they have trying to encourage kids to read through the summer or just the basic you know just going through the library and finding new books and everything and my caterpillars yeah we had to get rid of the caterpillars they was on my plants for several days before they started to mess with my flower part of my plant. So they had to go bye-bye. Hated that, but I was really hoping they might kind of just eat the leaves only. I know that's probably very wishful thinking, but that was my hope. But that did not work out because there was like 17 little caterpillars on my on that one plant. So they was eating their may their way merrily through my seeds for carrots and that's not what I want. Oh, and that one tomato plant that I decided to just like I said I kind of just gave up on to be honest. Now has three very small tomatoes on it and it is September first. So I or September second. So I have no idea why within like the last week it's decided to wake up and start producing fruit. I have no idea but I was actually getting ready to probably just go ahead and pull them up because my other ones had already died off and just throw them in my compost pile but I don't know I may just go ahead and do that just to go ahead and clear out that bed and then I can put some new compost in it and fertilize it and get it ready for next year and all so don't know time will tell y'all time will tell I would also love to hear what kind of crops that y'all grow in the fall I will definitely be adding garlic and um, parsley to our beds in the fall and that's really mostly it right now because the carrots I don't really want to mess with my carrot bed right now I will possibly put something else where my green not where my green beans that's where my carrot garlic's gonna go where my tomatoes are gonna go I may try to put something else there. So I would love to hear y'all's options kind of in the comment section below. Be sure to let me know because we are still playing around with different ways and different vegetables that we can grow and that we will, that I have a good way to fix that, you know, preserve and fix and play around with like that. Uh, let's see. That pretty much wraps it up, y'all. So y'all have a wonderful and a safe Labor Day weekend, and I will check in with y'all later.